guys, it's Carson Middle Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I've had for a very long time, and that is, how well does the DJI Phantom 3 standard fare with wind? Right now, there's very heavy wind, probably 23 to 25 miles an hour, which is what the uh, weather says, and uh, I'm just wanting to see, how well will this put up with wind? First off, before getting into the video, I just want to say, before you're commenting down below, the audio sounds horrible. Yes. I know, it sounds bad. One, it's windy outside. And two, the microphone that I'm using, I just reviewed in that video up there. And uh, I found out that it like is like shorting out and I haven't been able to send it back yet and get a replacement. But I'm gonna be doing that right after this video. I just wanted to make this video before that. So yeah. Also, the video is probably pretty shaky because of the wind. So give me some slack here, guys. But so anyways, let's get into the video. Now I just wanted to mention really quickly that before flying is you should never try this yourself. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had with my drone and this is for demonstration purposes only. And so, disclaimer, do not try this yourself. These high winds are fairly dangerous to fly in and it's not considered safe when flying. You could crash into things. I could possibly crash into a tree, I don't know. I've never flown in this high of winds before but I feel pretty confident in my abilities to fly. So, yeah. Let's hope I don't crash. So just to keep things safe really quickly, I'm gonna be calibrating the compass like many people have been saying before. And to do that, I'm gonna take off my watch because I've learned that if you're wearing an Apple watch or probably any other watch that uses GPS, then you cannot have that on when calibrating the drone. So just calibrate. taking off. Currently I'm in P mode which is GPS mode. I'm also going to be trying this in attitude mode which is a very bad idea but I'm still going to do it anyways. The wind right now isn't too bad so yeah let's get to taking off. As you can already see it's having a kind of hard time kind of having a hard time at keeping steady. Can't even stay in the same place. I'm even in GPS mode. Gimbal still looks pretty good. Now let's look at it up in the sky a little bit more. It's not moving around too much, but it's moving around a lot more than I would like. So this is not really liking the wind too much. Now I'm going to do a top speed test really quickly to see how fast I can get it. That's flying against the wind right there. Now let's fly back. <laughs> Getting to 25 mile an hour right there, just like the speed of the wind. That's interesting. So this isn't actually as bad as I had thought. So if you ever get caught in flying this while out in the wind and some gusts of winds come down on you, then it's not as bad as I had imagined. Now the next thing that I'm gonna be testing is in A mode, which is attitude mode. And that's basically like, there's no GPS stabilization at all. And so this is probably the worst idea that I'm gonna be doing with this. So. It's just really quick. I'm gonna take it up a little bit higher just to make sure it's not gonna crash into anything down here on the ground, such as trees. Now, just gonna turn it on A mode. And I'm not touching the controller. This is how fast it's moving. It's moving 13 mile an hour right now in the opposite direction of what I'm wanting. And I'm not even touching the remote. Well, now I'm touching it to bring it back, but. As you can see, if you ever turn on attitude mode, the drone will just drift wherever it wants. So it is having a harder time coming back with attitude mode because it's going against the wind because the wind direction has changed. Once again, not touching the controller. There it goes. 
is flying off. Now, if you're stuck in this situation and you're having a flyaway, just flip your remote controller back into GPS mode. And as you can see, it has stabilized again. And it's just there. So now I got to bring it back again. Wow. That is so slow. Typically, you can get this up to like 25 miles an hour, but in this wind, it's not doing too great. So I'm going to take it back a little bit further this time, and I'm going to go with the wind in attitude mode and see how fast I can go with the wind. Okay, let's flip it into attitude mode. Let's just get flying. Whoa, I'm totally going to hit my highest speed. Holy crap, I'm going 55 miles an hour right now. Okay, GPS mode. Don't want to lose that. Now I just want to do one last test, and that is in function mode. I want to see how well does the drone perform when it's doing a function and wind comes along. So I'm going to do point of interest. And I'm going to set the point of interest to me. So right there. Apply. Now it is in point of interest mode. Let's see how well it is. <laughs> wow. Okay, it looks like it's struggling right now. Let me show you what I'm seeing from the controller. It's not really keeping that steady of a circle. So if it's really windy and you're wanting a perfect circle, not really going to happen. Now it's not too bad. It seems like when it's going against the wind though, it does have a problem. So hold on, let me show you what it looks like right now with the wind hitting it. Now final test is landing. How difficult is it to land the drone when it's this windy? So I'm gonna do it with the landing on the app right now. See how that works first. I'm gonna try and not touch the controller, but if it's about to crash, then I'm gonna touch the controller. But... As you can see, it almost actually tipped over there <laughs> while landing, but now I'm gonna try and manually land the drone without using that landing. So if you're planning on landing manually, let's see how that works out. So this is obviously dependent on how well you can fly your drone, but I feel pretty confident in landing, so let's see how well I can do this. Now I would have to say that my landing was actually more steady and didn't bounce around as much as the auto landing, but you know, that could also be dependent on, I didn't see if there was a gust of wind, a gust of wind could have came at that point that was stronger than it is right now, but I don't know. Literally not touching the controller at all right now, and it cannot handle this wind. Like the wind is more powerful than the drone can handle. One thing is that it definitely drains the battery very quickly when you're flying in high winds because, like, it has to use way more power. I just went from like 30% now to 17% in probably a span of two minutes. So finally, I just have a couple more things that I want to add to this video. This was obviously just for the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Some of the higher models like the DJI Phantom 4 or the Phantom 4 Pro or the Mavic or many other of the newer DJI drones work much better in the wind. This one was fighting it and it was fighting it well, but the newer drones have sports mode and including the Inspire, that one's just much more powerful, but the DJI Phantom 4 and the Mavic those have sports mode and what that enables you to do is you can travel at up to 40 miles an hour without wind so with wind i'm pretty sure it can deal with much higher winds but for this i would not suggest flying this in the wind don't fly your drone in the wind no matter what drone you have in general that's just basically asking for a lot of trouble so anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to suggest future videos that i make over my dji phantom 3 standard then leave a comment below i really do look at all of you guys' comments and i try to leave answers to all of them and sometimes i even make videos over them so if you'd like to suggest a future video leave a comment below
below and if you'd like to subscribe click the button below even if you're on mobile if you'd like to see my last video that should be up there and my last drone video should be down there so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this one see you in the next video peace it's all good guys i put that there